Yes, we are in London, England, but we're not here to see the Towers of London, nor are we here to see the mysterious stones at Stonehenge. About 50 miles past this ancient wonder lies a truly magical place that is surrounded in history and mythology. Hi, I'm the Indiana James, and welcome to Bath, England. So you're asking yourself, what is Bath, England? Well, it was a pagan dwelling that the Romans took over from the Celts during their conquest of Britannia around 43 AD. Bath, England is now dominated by its beautiful architecture and impressive religious churches. But at one point in time, this place worshipped more than just the Holy Trinity. They worshipped the magical powers of the hot water baths. Hence where we get the name of taking a bath comes from hot water springs founded by the Romans. But the Romans back in the day named the town Aquae Sulis. So it's the water of Sulis. This magnificent bronze head was sculpted after the pagan Celtic goddess Sulis. Sulis was the goddess of nourishing and life giving. These hot water springs had a magical effect of curing ailments. The Romans were so impressed by the magical powers of the hot waters that they built huge temples enclosing the natural springs to worship and bathe here. This was of course before the dominance of the Christian religion. Many believe that this head is a sculpture of the Roman water god Neptune, and the owl of Minerva in the lower right hand corner represents wisdom. The owl has always been associated with wisdom and knowledge for its ability to see even in darkness. The wealthier citizens of the Roman Empire were able to afford tile floors. The ones who lived in poverty walked on dirt. This is where we get the expression, dirt poor. The Romans were very superstitious and believed in hexes. Many times they would sketch out curses and, and throw them into the magical waters for the gods to take vengeance on someone who did them wrong. I curse him who has stolen my hooded cloak, whether man or woman, whether slave or free, that the goddess Sulis inflict death upon, and not allow him to sleep or have children now or in the future. Wow, these guys are pretty bitter. Not only did they just throw curses into the water, they also offered offerings by throwing in different types of coins, gold, silver, bronze. Some of these coins would have been up to a month's worth of a soldier's pay. So they actually really believed in curses and blessings. Thousands of different coins and precious stones have been discovered in the pools and the filters of the Roman baths. One thing that led to the Roman superior standard of living was their advanced knowledge of technology. They even had civilized types of pipelines. What's really cool about this is, this is actual lead that was forged by the Romans itself. It's over 2,000 years old. It looks just like a regular pipeline that we would use something similar today. If they can't be cured by drinking and bathing here, they will never be cured anywhere. Dr. William Oliver. The main majestic element that helped cure the common elements was the plentiful source of sulfur in the water. This element with a combination of other natural minerals in the hot thermal springs helped cure the sick from the common colds. Well, let's see how divine this water truly is. Oh, and it's hot. Well, it's not the worst I've ever drank before. Not too bad though, I like it. So what is Bath, England? It's literally a town like no other.